Hello everybody, welcome to Men's with PJ. Today's date, August 3rd, 2016. Our discussion word today is warfare. 1 Samuel 28, 1. And it came to pass in those days that the Philistines gathered their armies together for warfare to fight with Israel. Isaiah 42. Speak you comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished and her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. 1 Corinthians 9 7. Who goes to warfare any time at his own charges? Who plants a vineyard? and eats not of the fruit thereof. Or who feeds a flock, and eats not of the milk of the flock. 1 Timothy 1, 18-20 This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before unto thee, that thou by them might war a good warfare holding faith and a good conscience, which some, having put away concerning faith, have made shipwreck. Now this is the word I looked up. Um, basically, it's a military fighting in war, an activity that is done as part of a struggle between competing groups, companies, two nations or groups of nations, an armed conflict between two mass enemies, armies. King David ended up in warfare with the Philistines and others. He was victorious because God fought many of the Israelite battles. Hold to faith and be a good conscience. The Lord has forgiven our sins and in the last days will go to war against Satan and the demons, sending them back to Hades. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.